Okay, so we're gonna remove or delete web steroids from Google Chrome, Internet Explorer, and Mozilla Firefox. So let's start off with Google Chrome first, okay? This is like really easy to do. You don't have to download anything or you don't have to go into the registry or anything. First thing first, you wanna go into the control panel here and you want to go into add remove programs. And what you can do is uh, you can do a search up here. You can just type in like web and anything to do in here, I don't have it in here obviously, but if you have anything to do with web steroids, you would just highlight it and you will click uninstall right here. Now the thing is some of you may not be able to uninstall it because it's running in the background. Now what you have to do is you can't go into the task manager and kill it because it comes right back. What you do is you have to go to your uh, app data. So what you do is uh, you go to your run and you can go over here and type in um, percent sign app data present percent sign and that'll bring you directly to the folder. And once you're there, it's uh, administrator, app data, and roaming. And then we'll look for web steroids. What you want to do is delete that. And then once you delete that, go back into control panel and uninstall the program. Okay, so if you do that, here's Google Chrome. What you want to do is you want to click on the three, three prong bar, or it could be a wrench. Click on that, you want to scroll all the way down to settings. And then we want to look at extensions. Right here, extensions. And then you should have the uh, web steroids in here somewhere. And wherever you do, you simply just click on this, the delete. And then what you do is you close uh, Google Chrome and you reopen it and it should be gone. So let's move to the next one, which is Internet Explorer. Okay, so this is Internet Explorer, IE. What we do is go on the top, go into the tools here. See this like little wrench? Click on that, and we wanna go down to Manage Add-ons. Click on that, and right away we're under Tools and Extensions. You should see the web steroids in here as well. What you want to do is wherever you see it, you want to click on it and you want to disable it. Click on it and then you would disable it. And then from here you close your Internet Explorer and you reopen and it should be gone. Now let's move to Firefox. Okay, so here's Firefox. Now this is assuming that you already deleted uh, web steroids out of your control panel. Now open up Firefox, and what we're going to do is you want to click on Tools up here. Uh, actually, if you don't have this menu bar up here, what you do is you just go to a blank space here, you right click, and you click on Menu Bar, and then this comes up. Now you have your tools, go to Tools, and you want to go to Add-ons. Okay, And from Add-ons, what you want to do is you want to click on Extensions, and you should have web steroids in here as well. And what you want to do is you want to disable it. You'll be able to disable it over here if it's enabled. Next place you want to look is on the same page and look down the plugins. Come here. Look for web steroids. If it's in here, what you want to do is never activate. Close and reopen Firefox and you should be good to go. So pretty easy uh, to eliminate this web steroids. Thanks.